We just wrapped up day three of the Almighty Stack event here at the 2017 Winter Poker Open. A four-way deal was made, and Andy Spears came out on top, winning 94K in his first BPO trophy. Andy, how are you feeling right about now? Um, I'm feeling great. I'm ready to uh, have a drink or two, <laughs> celebrate. I'm glad I didn't have to play it out because, you know, I'm very lazy and kind of tired. Um, and I'm pumped to get the mini glass borgata. It's awesome. Yeah, it's been a long time coming for you. You've obviously had a few close calls, and you started day two with the chip lead, and you went through a few ups and downs, but you made it to day three, all right? Can you walk us through your day two with all the 12 hours in play? Uh, yeah, it was a really long day. Um, I started off really well, like abused the bubble pretty well, had a decent stack. Uh, then Chris Limo, the infamous one, uh, was sat on my direct left. He beat me in a couple pots, so uh, I was starting to get short. And then uh, eventually I like won a flip or two. I beat Chris in a big pot. And uh, I was able to uh, come in to day three with like middle of the pack. So uh, it, was, it was kind of a roller coaster day, but uh, it was fun. Yeah, and the final table was made up of quite a few tough players. And you guys eventually made a four-way deal, but you got, you got some cards to work your way to get there. Can you walk us through some of those hands? Uh, yeah, I... Um, I came in, I think, like two of nine, maybe, and like, but the stacks were pretty tight, so it was gonna come down to some flips. Um, I I think the chip leader didn't play very aggressive. I actually controlled a lot of the action, and then um, I ended up winning a couple important flips versus uh, short stacks. Uh, one was like king queen of diamonds uh, versus jacks, and the board came clean until the river, and I rivered a queen, and that was like the big turning point for me to uh, acquire the chip lead. And who did you think was your toughest opponent at the final table? Um, someone whose game I respect a lot is uh, Zach Donovan. Uh, he was on my direct right for the final table, which was fortunate for me. Um, he has an online background. He has really solid fundamentals. So uh, he's uh, definitely the one I respected most at the final table, although uh, there were other really good players too, including uh, VIP Wen, who seems to like final table like every event. So uh, it was uh, him and uh, Zach were my two toughest opponents. And you locked down the trophy and you also took home 94K, a little bit less than the 131 that was initially set for first place. At this point in your career, which was more important to you, the trophy or the money? Oh, I'm all about uh, the Benjamins, Matthew. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do love the trophy and it was a nice little, you know, sweetener, but uh, the cash is important, you know. Uh, I'm, I guess you, I'm what you would call a mid-stakes grinder in the tournament world, so uh, the money is definitely important, and uh, I'll enjoy that the most. Well, Friday night is still young at the Borgata. We'll let you go celebrate. Thank you so much, Andy. Congratulations. Thanks, Matt.